<clears throat> hey, good afternoon, everybody. E. Neal with the Survivalist Mindset coming back at you again from the workshop this time. I apologize for that last video on my webcam. Didn't quite work out the way I had hoped. Uh, that webcam was not high quality, and um, I hope you were able to get some useful information out of it on that Warthog uh, review. Uh, however, we're going to use the camcorder from now on just because uh, I think the quality turns out a lot better. Today, we're going to be doing uh, a review, maybe a little discussion, about my my favorite uh, bushcraft uh, camping companion, if you will, and that is my axe. This is the S-Wing uh, 24A hatchet. Uh, it's got a solid metal construction, uh, one piece, instead of, instead of a head with a, a wooden handle. Um, when I think about tools that I'm going to take with me out into the wilderness, uh, I like to, to take a tool that has multi-purpose. Um, short of my, my knife, I think this axe is, um, is my best friend. It's the thing I, I lean on the most. Um, this axe is, is obviously a, a chopping tool, but as you can tell from the, the butt end of it, it's a hammering tool as well. I use it for uh, driving in tent stakes, uh, creating shelters, any number of things. Uh, this axe is very useful. We'll open it up here and take off the, off the guard. It comes with a, a real nice leather um, cover, made in Haiti. That's okay. It, it, it serves its purpose. It does have a couple of belt straps. I, uh, I often strap the thing to my belt and take it with me. This on one side, my knife on the other. Um, the axe itself, as you can tell, it's, it's been well used. Um, you do need to put a little oil on that. I noticed uh, the first time I took this out, I, I sheathed it after I'd used it, and uh, I must have been cutting something moist because very quickly it developed this discoloration. Um, not a big deal. I don't want to take it to my grinder and clean it off because I don't want to mess up the temper of the metal. But um, nonetheless, you might keep that in mind. Uh, put a little oil on. I have ever since then. It has a leather stacked handle, very similar to uh, an old uh, USMC K-Bar fighting knife handle. Um, on the bottom, if you can tell, S-Twing 24A. The big one there, guys, made in the USA. Uh, this particular particular axe uh, has been with me for several years now, and I don't think you could pry it off of me for anything. Um, <clears throat> when thinking about an axe uh, to take with you, obviously, um, maybe a Grand Force Brooks or a Wetterling's axe would be ideal. Uh, those are great, great axes. Um, they have a great price tag. Uh, this right here, I have done some looking to see what the current prices are and you can find them all over the internet for around $30. <clears throat> However, uh, part of the survivalist mindset is making your resources go farther, um, last longer, and a way I was able to accomplish that is I did some hunting around, guys. I found this same axe that they offer on uh, Amazon or, or various uh, survival equipment websites, you know, $30, upwards of $40. I found this at Home Depot for $19.99. Now, while that's, you know, ten, twenty dollars savings, that ten, twenty dollars could go a very long ways um, towards something else. <clears throat> Another reason I carry this and not a full-length axe is because when I have my my bag, my bug out bag, uh, the bag I use for camping, I don't want it to weigh more than I do. Uh, I like to keep it light so I can move, um, so I can get as far as I can without becoming fatigued. That's something to think about, and we're going to do a video on that, on uh, not only choosing a bug out bag uh, specifically for your situation, because uh, every, everybody's different. Some people are, are by themselves. Someone, some folks may just have their wife. Uh, personally, I have a wife and two boys, two boys that are too young to carry their own pack, so I have to think about them, and I have to, to pack adequately so that I can uh, be supportive of them as well. And by keeping it light... Um, I'm able to utilize that weight and that space for other things that, that may be important. Uh, so this axe works out perfectly. Not to mention the thing is just absolutely bomb proof. You don't have to worry about the handle breaking off uh, when you're out in the bush 
and you really need it. Um, I have thrown this, I have chopped with this, I have hammered with this. Um, and aside from the discoloration on the blade and the, the, uh, oh, all the holes in the, in the butt end from where I hammered with it, the thing still looks none the worse for wear. Uh, you wouldn't know this thing was several years old. Um, I actually got the idea for this uh, from an old scout master who, uh, ironically enough, had this exact same model from eons ago. Uh, his handle obviously was weathered and old, but it looked fantastic. So, so I got it. You might check it out. Now, next time you're at a Home Depot, pick one up. Get a feel for it. You'll, you'll, you'll understand what I mean about the quality of it. And it won't cost you uh, a mortgage payment, let's say, to, to buy one. Uh, like a Weatherlings or a Grand Force Brooks Axle. It'll cost you a car payment to get one coming to you. And not so much with this. Yeah, I hope this was helpful. Uh, look forward to some some more reviews in the future. Uh, big winter camping trip coming up. And I'm going to take the camera out with me, and and we'll do some demonstration videos, and and uh, maybe just have a good time. Uh, just remember, remember uh, the only certainty in life is change. God bless, guys, and I will see you again soon.